Okay, welcome to our training and we'll go ahead and get started. Today we're going to be discussing lighting control with DALI gateways. First we'll discuss lighting control and DALI protocol. Then we're going to show you how the RS-485, RS-232, USB, and DALI devices communicate. Then we'll go over lighting control with touchscreen PLCs and programmable automation controllers. After that, we'll demonstrate lighting control with SCADA software. If you have any questions at any time, please enter them into the chat box. I'm Maria Lamoni, sales manager here at ICP DAS USA, and I have Mosin here from our technical support department with me. Later in the training, he will demonstrate how to control lighting with SCADA software. ICP DAS was established in 1993. Our headquarters is located in Shinshu, Taiwan. ICP DAS USA was launched in 2001 to support the North and South American markets. We have over 200 R&D engineers. We work closely with them to add new features to our products, develop new products, and to support our customers. Most of our products are ROHS compliant, which means they're lead free. We have our ISO 9001 certification, which ensures we meet product statutory and regulatory requirements. Lighting control solutions help to provide light when and where you need it indoors and outdoors for industrial, commercial, and residential applications. They can add convenience, lower costs, and save energy. We provide equipment that can be used for local, standalone systems or large intelligent automation and control systems. DALI, Digital Addressable Lighting Interface, is a technical standard for network-based lighting control systems and is commonly used in building automation. DALI stands for Digital Addressable Lighting Interface and is an international standard for lighting control interfaces. A DALI network consists of a controller, and one or more lighting devices like electrical dimmers with lighting DALI interfaces. A controller can monitor and control each light via bidirectional data exchange. DALI protocol permits devices to be individually addressed and also incorporates group and scene broadcast messages to simultaneously address multiple devices at one time. DALI lighting control allows for unparalleled performance, helps saving energy, and offers convenience, comfort, and flexibility. In lighting control applications, the GGW521 DALI gateway converts between RS-485, RS-232, or USB, and DALI interfaces, so you can use standard or existing equipment with DALI devices. If you use a DGW521 gateway with a touchpad touchscreen controller via RS-485, the touchscreen PLC can display power usage consumed by lighting connected to the DALI network. A DALI gateway can be connected to a PC through a USB port so users can monitor and control lighting equipment through their PC. SCADA software also allows for web publishing so you could interface the lights through a web browser or a cell phone if you publish the PC to a Wi-Fi network or the Internet. The maximum communication distance for DALI cables is 984 feet. The maximum distance for RS-232 is 50 feet. The maximum distance for USB is about 16 feet, and you can extend that with hubs. DGW521 is really easy to set up and use. It's set up with Decon Utility, a free PC-based configuration software that we provide. You can use it to set the serial address, baud rate, checksum, and parity. You wire directly to the USB and serial devices through the terminal block at the bottom of the DGW521. You wire directly to the DALI network through the terminal block at the top of it. It also has a built-in DALI power as well as plus four 
ESD protection for the 232, RS-485, and USB data lines. Built-in DALI power can be used to power DALI devices. The power can be enabled or disabled with a switch on the DGW-521. DGW-521 supports operating temperatures between negative 25 to 75 degrees Celsius or negative, 30, negative 13 to 167 degrees Fahrenheit. To control DALI lighting with a touchscreen PLC like TPD430, you connect the DGW521 DALI gateway to the TPD430 over the RS485 bus through the D plus and D minus inputs on the terminal blocks using two insulated copper wires. The TPD430 is a 4.3 inch touchscreen PLC that can fit in regular electrical wall mount outlets or can be wall mounted in an enclosure box. It comes with free HMI Works C language and ladder logic programming and graphical user interface development environment. It has a drag and drop interface with many graphical objects available in the library. You can put buttons or sliders on the screen and easily match them up to the dowly lighting equipment. You can use touch pads in every room of a hotel, for example, to control lights and other equipment like televisions, air conditioning, and fans. PLCs like the TPD430 can run one program. Programmable automation controllers can be used for advanced lighting and control systems as they can run multiple programs at one time. The WinPack 8000 pack is our second generation Windows CE.NET embedded programmable controller that is programmable in .NET languages like VB.NET, C Sharp, and embedded Visual C++. It is equipped with a PXA270 520 MHz CPU and has a VGA, USB, Ethernet, RS-232, and RS-485 ports. It also comes with 1, 4, or 8 slots for use with cartridge-based parallel and serial I.O. modules. It also comes with free e-logger control and monitoring software that you can configure for your control and monitoring system. The DGW521 DALI gateway with the WinPack 8000 series packs via RS-232, RS-485, or USB allow you to implement an advanced lighting and control system. It has a web server so you can publish the system to the web for access over a web browser or cell phone. It has an FTP server so you can retrieve data logs remotely. So why choose ICP-USA? Some of our company benefits include customized product and OEM capabilities, low lead times, and personalized care. We provide industrial products at competitive prices and keep up with the latest technology. We offer free technical support and offer a wide variety of modular solutions that can meet many different kinds of application requirements. With SCADA software, you can show the status of all the lighting equipment in a building. You can also show the status of the position of windows and doors being opened or closed. You can monitor energy consumption with power meters and can show the data on a screen. You can also send email alarms based on conditions like when a person enters a dangerous area. You can also log data and generate reports for analysis. SCADA software can be published to the web for remote access through web browsers and cell phones. I will now pass the presentation over to Mosin for a demonstration on lighting control with SCADA software. Uh, hello everybody, my name is Mosin from ICB Dash Technical Support Team. Um, this time I'm going to show you a demo project uh, which is uh, developed by uh, Indusoft uh, uh, SCADA software. Mm, first of all, um, I would say that Indusoft is a powerful SCADA software product. 
for developing Windows-based human-machine interface applications in industrial and residential systems. And um, actually with Indusoft, you have a user-friendly environment to develop graphical interfaces, integrate web browsers, and take advantage of uh, internet connectivity. Um, and besides mentioned features, Indusoft provides uh, advanced technology that uses uh, the internet to access data which is stored on different devices and test or measurement equipment. <coughs> Um, back to lighting um, and uh, showing you the uh, demo projects. Um, actually, intelligent lighting uh, scenarios created uh, efficient operations uh, convenience. And uh, Windows of the Web Studio Pro uh, provides uh, <coughs> solutions uh, to monitor and evaluate trends in lighting usage, as well as a report and log uh, maintenance records um, to any format desired. Here you can see a um, demo project uh, which is uh, uh, created for um, building automation and actually um, lighting is could be a part of building automation as well. And uh, <coughs> here you can have a control uh, for, for example, turning on or off uh, different uh, lighting area, for example, in the lobby, control room, <coughs> anywhere. And, um, and also you have the uh, ability to, to schedule um, any event uh, for any area to turn on or off. Uh, you can create, for example, new events, and uh, or you can deal it previous events you have created, and uh, there is a possibility that you control anything manually, and uh, you can also have uh, all of these uh, things uh, as a log in your system, and uh, you can also create a very powerful uh, alarm system, as well as. Uh, uh, other uh, system for lighting, you can have also this other uh, system. With a very simple feedback, you can have a remote uh, notification um, via email or SMS. And uh, actually, Indusoft support has uh, support for uh, mobile platform as well. Here also, I can show you uh, different uh, features for, for example, a elevator, which is a part of also uh, building automation or for example fire uh, system or camera by the way you can integrate all of these things uh, inside uh, Indusoft uh, Web Studio at my system in which is a very powerful and user friendly system you can also have a uh, administrator features and you can uh, create a different access level for different operators and uh, other features. Okay, um, I pass uh, to uh, Maria and uh, okay. I'm open to listen if there is any question. Yes, at this time if anybody has any questions please type them into the chat box. And if you don't have any questions, you can always feel free to email us or give us a call, and we'll be happy to help you. Okay, um, if there's no questions, then thank you for attending our training on uh, lighting control with Dolly Gateways, and hope to see you um, at our next training. Thank you. Bye-bye.